हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंग्लिश विद साक्षी खन्ना I just want to introduce you people today's topic which I am doing. I was thinking long ago that I want to share something about verbal ability which is your main weak point. Main weak point because I checked your Tata test series also. So you people are not even attending the questions properly and that is really very bad point. If you are getting the resources at least make full use of that. That I am requesting you. And second thing verbal ability only one student appeared in the paper really very bad thing okay so i felt that i need to tell you something about the verbal ability what is that how to deal with such type of questions that i just want to share with you in this lecture so be intact with your pen and paper very much concentrated as well let's begin with that we always talk about the clues the tips okay the point which is giving you some idea that your answer is b c d or a so verbal ability is the defined as the capability of a person in expressing ideas using words in a clearly understandable manner if we are talking about verbal ability so verbal ability you need to understand what is exactly that then only if you understand the question you can go to the right answer as well okay so verbal ability is a very important component of competitive examination now why it is very com common because in this type of question they just check your ability to think how you go to the clues how you find the context helpful for your clue and go to the right option so for aspirants as you all are who want to get good scores in verbal ability a good vocabulary point to be noted good vocabulary and sentence forming skills are vital vital means must mandatory very important so some common tips i will just tell you first of all find out who your test provider will be there are so many examinations are happening in the world okay like sat neat banking railway nda okay so you need to understand first of all your test provider means you are writing your examination for whom second thing read each piece of text you can't leave a single word in your provided text whatever you have got you need to read it properly okay you cannot go back always keep in the mind that your first set of your first shot of reading should be the final shot of reading because you have no option to go back you have the option to go back but i mean to say here please don't waste your time number 3 don't make assumptions assumption you people are in the habit and always take some other ways to tick 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 b c d randomly that is purely wrong because it will affect your marking and score so you must take the information you are presented with literally literally you are presented with the piece of information you need to rely over that to find out your answers please don't assume manage your time calculate how much time you can devote to each question and please stick to it yes you need to stick with that only okay if 100 questions you need to divide with your given time number 5 hone your analytic skills analytic skills means your thought process how your thought process should work okay for that you need to brush up your ability to absorb information means absorb information you should listen very carefully what ever the parents are talking okay for example i just give you how to do so for example you are watching the tv some persons are talking nearby you should understand both the things okay while watching the tv you should take the understanding what they are talking okay so for that you need to absorb the information and pinpoint key themes pick out the key point and arguments and identify how the author support them this point will be helpful for you people to do the comprehension passage while going to the right option what i am saying to you pick out the key point and arguments what the author has put in that and then you will get the clue that b c t or a 
where the author is going through his text okay very important you need to understand that moving ahead with some more common tips improve your english as a second language very important i am telling you otherwise you will be dealing with all the questions with this question mark in the mind practice is even more important for you start reading your papers now okay if you are not doing 15 to 20 minutes you need to give article reading any book you can start any old newspaper you can have practice in the right format you need to practice in the right format very important to say now if you are not practicing on your pattern design pattern your design pattern is mcq based if you are not practicing in that that you will be in the big trouble in your final attempt that is why i am telling you practice in the right format read online offline for example if you are giving your paper offline then it's different if you are giving online then also it's different your strategy will be changed because reading on screen can take longer than on paper and it's important to get used to this you need to get used to that the system which you are having in your final attempt that's very important okay guys very general maximum students get confused with this clause just read this clause with me what do i do if i don't know what that word means very simple means if i don't know the meaning how i will move ahead but you should not stick to the word you should not wait that you will get the meaning because in all the normal classrooms i have always cleared your doubt that there is no meaning in english unless it is proper noun okay because there are simple context we need to find out the clues and attach with the context okay then only you can find out the right answer so look up the word evening in the dictionary for example the word evening late afternoon or early night how many meanings are there okay so these are so easy words but you are having very complicated words in your paper and even you are practicing also with those words only which you have never heard in the life even it is same with me or any aspirant who has plan who has plan to appear in such type of paper so there is some mechanism how we will attach the context with the clue that we will be doing in today's lecture let us start with the context clues the context is simply the words or ideas around your unknown word what i am telling please listen me very carefully now how we will get the clues with the context and but we are not knowing the meaning still we will get the right answer how we will do that so first you need to understand what is context every time i use this word while doing comprehension while doing rearrangement of the sentences so today i am telling you what is context actually the context is simply the words or ideas around your unknown word means your target word or your target sentence so context clue how it will helpful for us context clues are hints that the author gives to help define a difficult or unusual word the clue may appear within the same sentence as a word to which it refers or it may follow in a preceding sentence that is why we always say you when you are not getting any meaning when you are not getting your right answer please read the context before and after of your target sentence or the word you will get the clue and that will help you to go to the right option follow the clues i explained you how to follow the clues how to understand new word using context clues that we will be doing now now four types of context clues are there you are getting now here the classification of your context which i am telling you means you can get four types of context clue but before that let us do some definition explanation restatement synonyms contrast antonym inference journal context clue so first is the pair of definition lead to explanation second is re statement synonyms you all are doing third is contrast totally opposite inference general context clues in a series of types of context clues we are taking first the definition and explanation look at that what is that type of clue the new term may be formally defined or sufficient explanation may be given within the sentence or in the following sentence clues to definition 
include that is commas, dashes, parentheses. Okay, now I am repeating definition, explanation. They will give you the clue. Maybe some commas, some dashes, semicolon, okay, the hyphen. They can give you such type of clue as well in your passage while reading the context to find the clue. Now context clue, definition and explanation. Look at the example, you will understand very fast. Let's have an example on the screen. I will make it little broad for you people. The arbitrator. So such type of words you will be getting in your paper, MCQ based, even in your comprehension based text as well. So the arbitrator, the neutral person, chosen to settle the dispute arrived at her decision. What would be the definition of arbitrator in this sentence? Arbitrator, the neutral person chosen to settle the dispute. Look at the example, the arbitrator, comma is there. This comma shows that answer is related to that. So here is the clue means the next part which is preceding the comma okay that will be your correct option to understand so definition and explanation the first pair to get the clue let us see more example with context clue definition or explanation now fluoroscopy fluoroscopy examination with a fluoroscope has become a common practice what could be the meaning of the word fluoroscopy and examination with a fluoroscope? The commas before and after examination with a fluoroscope out the definition of fluoroscopy means such type of explanation or definition based answer you need to give then you need to follow this definition explanation for math for finding your clues. Look at more example. The Dudane, a short stem, day pipe, meaning is day pipe, found in Irish folk tales. What could be the definition of Dudane is, in the sentence, Dudane, a short stem, clay pipe. Okay, so the dash is setting off. I told you the dash is the hyphen, semicolon, double colon, anything can come. Okay, a short stem, clay. So in the option, if you see, a short stemmed clay that will be your answer it is proceeding by the dash only okay i hope you are understanding what i am saying to you ahead. moving ahead with restatement of synonyms you all know the same meaning okay the meaning is usually right after the unfamiliar word and often separated from the rest of the sentence with commas dashes parentheses sometimes or that is or in other word this i am telling you about your comprehension context clue okay how we will do that now restatement or synonyms clue how we will find out the mountain pass was tortuous road winding and twisting like a snake around the trees of the mountain side what could be the definition of the tortuous is in this sentence tortoise means winding and twisting now see very simple if you are getting tortoise okay winding and twisting comma you are not getting meaning of tortoise fine it's okay but when after comma you are reading these are simple words winding twisting that means this is your answer so you got the meaning of tortoise as well means you got the context clue and you are moving ahead you are not sticking to your word that you are not getting at all okay guys let's talk about more example with this clue flooded with spotlights the focus of all attention miss america began her year-long regime she was the cynosure of all eyes for the rest of the evening very simple you people will stick to the word sinusure you are not getting the meaning no very easy to understand flooded with spotlight okay that means focus of all attention focus of all attention she was the sinusure okay so that is the meaning of this word means you are getting little clue that's enough for you while just reading previous text or preceded text you are getting your 
meaning very easily. So you need to follow the same mechanism to find out the meaning of the Next, we are moving to the antonyms. Antonyms, opposite, contrast, okay, and opposite meaning context clue contrasts the meaning of an unfamiliar word with the meaning of a familiar term. But however, although otherwise, unless, instead, on the other hand, while never know or not may be used to signal the contrast. Now, word is there. Okay, difficult word is there, but it has some contrast meaning. Fine, you need to find out. If it is in the sentence, then also okay. If it is in the context or in the comprehension, then also okay. But how you will find out the meaning? You will be getting the clue words like, but however, although, otherwise, unless, instead, on the other hand, while, never know, they will be giving you signal, a clue that we are the meaning of your difficult word which you have been stuck badly. Stand with this example. Okay, the example is like that. He tried to smile because the mood of the party was not somber, but happy. So you are getting this word maybe in the antonyms, maybe in the comprehension, how you will find out the meaning. You know that somber must mean something that is the opposite of happy. Okay, opposite of happy, but... What is the clue for you? Happy is there. That means somber is giving you something negative meaning. And meaning of somber means, yes, lack of brightness means not happy, not happy feeling. Let us try another example. Okay. Joe was reluctant to take the job of captain of the team. He was afraid that the time it would take would hurt his grades. On the other hand, Billy was eager for the chance to be the team captain. So, what does the word reluctant? Means reluctant, I have highlighted here to show you that this is your word and downward you are getting option. How you will get the clue? Okay, mean in this paragraph. In this sentence, the words on the other hand. Okay, on the other hand, tell us that Billy feels the opposite of Joe, reluctant. So, therefore, reluctant means uncertain. Joe was reluctant to take the job of captain of this team. He was afraid that the time it would take would hurt his grades. On the other hand, that means uncertain. Uncertain, cautious. Okay, uncertain or cautious. Downward, if you are getting the options, you can go to the right option easily i feel like that talking to the next context clue that is in friends journal context clue the meaning of an unfamiliar word unfamiliar word can be inferred from the description of a situation or experience how i just explain you with the example just i will make it little broad Dementia. Dementia is the word here. Okay, so uh, you are getting such type of words only. Please keep in the mind which you have never heard about. Now, how we will find out the right meaning? Dementia almost overcame Lou when she stepped off the train at Rainwater Ridge and felt as crazy as a Betsy bug as she realized how different her new life would be. Now, read the highlighted text. Dementia can be defined as being insane because the phrase as crazy, as crazy with Sibab indicates insanity. Insanity, dementia almost overcome. It shows giving you the clue means the preceded text giving you the clue of craziness. Craziness means insane. Downward if you are getting something related to the craziness or insane word is here, that is your right option. Look at more example with vapid, again, you haven't heard about this word, okay? So, let's read the text first. She told her friend, I'm through with blind dates forever. What a dull evening. I was bored every minute. The conversation was absolutely vapid. What could the word vapid means? Okay, now read the highlighted text here. In the blog, the speaker was telling that she had a dull evening. Okay, and that she was bored at every minute of the conversation she had with a friend. So, the most logical guess would be uninteresting. 
so which word is giving you the clue uninteresting that is your answer so she told her friend i'm through with blind dates forever what a dull evening i was bored means everything they have said something uninteresting okay so this explanation is helping us to go to the right option in the question vocabulary context clues i am talking a lot about the context clues so what is that related to the vocabulary will help you to find out the meaning which you are not getting at all so vocabulary understanding is the best vocabulary understanding please note this point vocabulary understanding is the best predictor of reading comprehension it will help you while reading the comprehension doing sentence arrangements and synonyms antonyms one word substitution almost everything okay so how we will make it useful vocabulary context clue as i told you context clue what do you mean by context context first you need to understand that is what comes before and after the target word target sentence target extract or target phrase so context clue hints given about the word meaning that is your target clue now types of context clue we have done restatement clue i told you related to the synonyms means something has been repeated restatement means target words is there in the sentence but in the same sentence they are repeating something about your target word anya was indignant really really angry that the bus left without it shows that really really angry with the hyphen with the hyphen they are showing you that it means outraged very much angry example please shred the cabbage for the coal slow by cutting it into long strips shred shred means something related to the cutting chopping okay shred the cabbage very thin slices fine so it goes like this let's see more example with synonyms synonyms you all know a word or phrase that means almost the same as the unknown unknown word your target word is there but synonym you need to find out so if you know the meaning of the one word or phrase you can guess the meaning of the other look at the example okay in this way you will be getting your questions based on the synonyms antonym okay so sentence text will help you a lot that only i want to say that context is very important for you people to find out the clue although the sales person tried to assuage the angry customer there was no way soothe her okay what does it mean assuage means to make the comfortable although the sales person tried to assuage to make her comfortable pacify find the angry customer angry word is giving you the clue means assuage means yes assuage means something means the person is not ready to be comfortable sale person try to pacify the angry customer there was no way soothe her pacify comfortable anything can go check your option you go to the right and some more example if you understand the examples given you may be able to figure out the word meaning look at the example children who move to a foreign country adapt more easily than their parents soon picking up the language and customs of their new home adapt means adjust now picking up the luggage and customs of their new home adapt more easily than their parents okay that sentence is giving us the clue something related to the adjustment okay for example next nocturnal creatures such as bats and owls can function in the dark means nocturnal creatures nocturnal related to something active at night you know the functions of bats they are active in the night only they are active night flyers okay night flyers they are known as owls and bats fine so everything related to the night that means your options should be relation with the should be related with the night only then you can find out your correct answer let's do more work over the inference or journal sense clue how to find out you just remember the clues only okay figure out the meaning by reasoning from the information provided by the context find out the information take out the information while reading properly you can go to the inference means the context clue you can find out and inference is an educated guess means reasonable guess not like fly guess fine reasonable guess the car wash the car wash we organized 
We a fiasco. It rained all the day. The car wash. We are organized. We a fiasco. It rained all the day. Now, what is a fiasco? What were the clues here? Read it again. The car wash. We organized. We a fiasco means something they arranged. Something they arranged. Forget about all the things. Something they arranged, but it collapsed. Okay. So Tom doesn't want to sell Sam about the entire movie. So he just have him the gist of the story. Gist. What does it mean? Now read the sentence. Forget about fiasco. Forget about gist. What does it? What does the information you get? Tom doesn't want to tell Sam about the entire movie. So he just have him the gist of the story. Entire movie he doesn't know. Gist means little idea. The theme, okay, the basics, something related to that, and you can go down with your option very correctly, okay. And fiasco, fiasco means something collapsed which they arrange. You can go to your option so easily, isn't it? Literally, there is no end of doing such questions, and I hope you are getting the way what I want to say you about the context clues, okay. We will be doing more and more examples tomorrow session, but please be strict with the rules and regulations and find out the clues more. It will be helpful for you in the sentence. Once you will get the context clue, you will go to the right options. Okay, till the time, stay safe, stay protected. See you tomorrow with more set of examples which will help us to do the antonyms, synonyms, and one word substitution, and maybe the unknown word, unheard word. In your comprehension passage too, so that you will save your time, you will not stick to the word. Okay, goodbye.